I didn't ask you where you needed to go. I know where I need to go. Hello, hello. Can I help you with? A birthday button? I think we're out of birthday um, buttons. I can tell Bear had to write this. Yes. Very boy handwriting. Yes. I hope he's doing okay. So in case you hadn't guessed, it's the princess's birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. She didn't want her button, but now she's got it. Um, I'm a stick in the mud. Now it's time for... Drinks! Drinks. Off we go. And a swine brine. Swine Ow. Table. Hit me with that. Table. Table right here. So you know what time of year it is. Flavors from the fire is open. And of course, I have to get a disgusting swine brine. Cheers to you plant-based people out there. And another cheers for Sean Roselle. I wish you were here, sir. Swine brine, baby. Mm, five out of five claws. Juicy meat, bourbon, you can't go wrong there. I got a Zinfandel and I thought it was going to be like a pink and it turned out to be a red. It's very like a uh, oaky, like I always think that reds taste like wood in some form. And this one tastes very woody. I'm not mad at it. It wouldn't be my first choice though. It's a little, it's a little uh, on the tart side. Third day grape juice, adult grape juice. It's got an earthy smell to it. Not that I know what I'm talking about at all. Not too dry, a little bit sweet. This will give me a hangover in the morning. Three and a half from five claws. That's what the magpie houses, right? The magpies. Hey, magpie right? houses. Yeah, these are up all the time if you guys didn't know. Not all the time, but most of the year. Yeah. Little mini homes. Let us know how the audio is. I kind of forgot the mic cable today, so this mic should be better, but I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. I'm sure you guys will tell us if it's bad. You always do. So excited. I love Earth Eats. Uh, I'm pretty sure you already know what you're getting. Oh, that's all I was gonna get. What did you say? We're not drinking around the world no. today. This is not a practice run. It's practice run. Practice run? Practice run. Practice run. It's not happening. Practice run. Practice run. All in one shot, sir? Yes. It's given. You use every ledge. 
I'm not gonna lie, normally we use a Disney table, but we are in the middle of a pandemic. Which one am I starting with? The one you want. That's that which you want. Yeah, you didn't spill your bit. Okay, good. The El Diablo. No, it's blood orange. The blood orange. It's not very orangey, but it is very good. I was expecting it to be somewhat spicy, and it's not that either. But I like it. I like that tahini. All right, I was very indecisive. Ultimately, I decided to go with the blood orange because of the tahini rim, and allegedly, it sounded like it's going to be spicy. So, blood orange has a very unique flavor to it. Not really overpowering this time, but when you take a sip from this actual cup and you get a mouthful of tahini, it really just holds it all together. Blood orange. So blood orange. It's always good with tequila. Mm. And I kind of like that. Blood orange is a unique flavor. And it seems to go really well with tequila. I'm not complaining. Mm. Three and a half out of five plus. It's the Pina Loco. Pina Loco. Oh, this one's spicy too, right? Or no, smoky. Oh, wow. I think there's some peppers in it too, so. Hello, Miss Cow. That's, now I understand why it's a smoky margarita, because it's just a lime margarita with Miss Cow mm. instead of regular tequila. Oh, and pineapple juice. I don't taste pineapple juice, I just taste Miss Cow. That's all. All right, Pina Loco. I love pineapple, so uh, let's see how this goes. Ooh. Is mescal actually that spicy? It's uh, smoky? No. Yes. This is like comfort food in a glass. I'm a fan. Yes. Or for you, Glen Coco. Pina Loco. A spicy margarita with lime juice, mezcal, and a little bit of pineapple juice. And then we have salt. The mezcal kind of covers up the flavor of the pineapple juice, but it doesn't take away from the sweetness. So if you hate the bitterness sort of that mezcal has, this kind of helps with that. In addition to lime, this could be a new favorite. Mm. Four and a half out of five plus. And the pink popcorn. Also smoky, because it has mezcal, but not as smoky. I think I like, I think I like the blood orange the best, actually. I'm, I'm not mad at this though. And pink popcorn, the one that started it all. I almost got this one, but what fun is everybody getting the same drink? So, uh, let's do this. It does taste like candy. It's very sweet, very candy-like. Can't really taste any alcohol in it. Dangerous, but fun. And as for the pink... Pink? Popcorn. Pink popcorn. It does smell like popcorn, thank God. But, uh, let's go do it. Okay. It's almost like mezcal candy. Four out of five blocks. I approve. Mango? Mango ginger. 
Mango gingerita. Ooh, does that mean it's gonna be a moon? Oh, very mangoey. Very mangoey. Rita, because if anybody knows anything, if it has the word ginger in it, I'm usually there. Mango is a slightly added bonus. It's not my preferred, but ginger, it's for me. It's very heavy on the mango. I would have liked more of a ginger taste to it. I, I need the ginger bite, otherwise it's kind of a waste of my time. Cantaloupe, thanks for the uh, drink heads up there, Bob. Yes, it tastes like I just bit into a cantaloupe. Cantaloupe? Bob hasn't steered me wrong yet. Like. That definitely just tastes like biting right into fresh cut cantaloupe. I'm a fan. Yeah. So tell me, who else as a kid in the summer, one of your favorite treats from your grandparents, in my case my grandmother, was a huge slice of cantaloupe sprinkled with a little bit of salt. It sounds a bit weird, but if you have tried it, let me know in the comments. I love this drink. I'd always move me back to that last mile drive up to my grandmother's house. Love this. Four and a half out of five plus. Just a little bit watered down. It's always a little bit watered down here and it's a bit strong. Because you know, stir. But almost perfect. Oh yeah, extra 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 kung fu, right? Yeah. Yes. Kung fu punch. Oh. I actually think that's my favorite one. It's very citrusy and delicious. Kung Fu Punch, extra Kung Fu. Clearly no mango, because Bear hasn't died yet. It tastes like pre-made McDonald's orange juice. <gasps> mm, sorry. <laughs> the Kung Fu Punch, I'm not sure I've had this before. I don't think so. The color makes me suspicious. If it's mango, you'll see me seize up and die really quickly, so. I'm not sure what I'm gonna drink it anyway. Three and a half out of five plus. Food today. Okay. I come for like less crowds and less food. I like that. You guessed it. We're going to Regal Eagle. What a surprise. So now we have mutant sized berries again. November comes around. I guess we'll see how fun we are. The berries go. I had that moonshine. Not this last time. Let's start. I like it way much. Blackberry moonshine, something or other. Mutant berries. Surprisingly smooth. I'm a fan. I think I like it more than you. The moonshine is sour. Except on the amount of fruit. Like a porch lemonade. But with adult stuff in it. Three and a half out of five plus. Not looking forward to drinking a beer after this. Oh my damn. 
and uh, over on Wheat Ale. All right. Not bad. It's a pretty good tasting beer. Beer is not my first choice, but over the past couple of years, I've grown a love for it. Not bad. If you're in the mood for something lighter than a cocktail, go for it. It's fine. That's how to be different. Normally, I come to American Brew and I always do cocktail. Why not a beer this time? Put the over on wheat ale. It looks weedy. Eat your weedies, kid. <laughs> Actually, why are you watching this video? Go do some work or something. Play outside. <laughs> Four to five months. Texas Mule, just Tito's. Mulicious. I like it. Yes. Hi, hello. No. I got the Texas Mule because there's ginger beer in it. And as we learned before, if it has ginger in it, it's for me. It's got Tito's, it's got ginger beer, it's all the makings of a mule. If that's your old faithful, go for it. It smells like Texas. It's got Tito's. <laughs> I'm a Florida, I'm allowed to hate on Texas, don't judge me. Or do. I mean, you know the comments are going to be placed to play me for that one. I mean, Tampa Bay just won the Stanley Cup over Texas. So. Ooh. Do Texans even watch hockey? I know Floridians don't. I keep forgetting that we even have a hockey team. I'm sure I'll hear about that one too. Three and a half out of five plus.